Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Of course, it's your girl Erin. I figured today I was just going to do a massive yarn haul, yarn unboxing. I've had so many packages of yarn just in my house, in my room, and I figured now is the perfect time to just kind of unbox everything, show you guys what I've had sitting around my home, and also talk about like some crochet and knitting plans for the fall and winter months. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into it because there is so much. I probably won't be spending too much time on all of these yarns just because again, I have so much to talk about. So first and foremost, I got this really amazing package from Ching Fiber. Thank you guys so much for sending this to me. So I figured I would just share with you the lines that I received and the names and the colorways and just again, some plans that I have for this particular yarn. So they sent over so many hanks of yarn. These are honestly some of the most beautiful hand dyed yarns I've ever had my hands on. So first and foremost, Ching Fiber sent me this really gorgeous line. This is in their Dashing DK. Now to me, this is kind of like their overall standard go-to yarn on their website. I feel like this type of wool yarn is super reliable. And again, you can probably use this for pretty much any fall or winter project that you guys have in mind. So again, this Dashing DK is a 100% superwash, ultra fine South African merino wool. You do get about 100 grams per hank and this is in the gorgeous colorway banana tree i love that although it looks mostly tonal you can obviously see that there are a little bit of different shades mixed in there so i would say this is more like a semi-tonal type of colorway but it's like a really gorgeous mossy green with subtle hints of like brighter lemon yellow and lime again here is another hank in the banana tree but just so, so gorgeous. It's kind of matching with, you know, the fall vibes. We got the plant in the back. But again, this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. As I'm starting to like develop more in my crochet and like in my knitting, I really am drawn to more of like these earthy tones or more just like neutral, solid type of shades that can pretty much wear with any outfit, such as like this little sweater that I have on. So they sent over five amazing hanks of this and honestly the first thing that came to mind when i received all this yarn is i would love to make either a cardigan or a fall sweater i'm not too too sure but because these have such a like standard solid type of shading to it i think i would really like to mix in some type of textural design to the sweater or the cardigan whatever i make but i feel like this shade would be so gorgeous a nice pop of color to have and throw over like a black tank top a white tank top but yeah here she is so so gorgeous I'm absolutely in love so along with their dashing DK they also sent me two even more beautiful hanks this is actually in their Surrey lace line which is constituted of 74% baby Surrey alpaca and 26% mulberry silk non superwash so again these are the hanks and I figured that these were actually going to pair really really well with my banana tree obviously they are two completely different shades but I felt like mixing in this really gorgeous halo of their Surrey lace with their dashing DK would give it just like a little bit extra of like a color pop that way whatever cardigan or sweater that I make is not super saturated in green and again with the Surrey lace this is in their line crocodile but I'm not sure if you guys are able to see that although it does have like an overall tonal theme again kind of like a mossy seafoam green the actual strands and lace of this fiber has kind of like a lemony lime shading to it so again if you guys look really really close i thought that this would pair so lovely so although i have yet to actually double strand with like a standard superwash merino wool and like a mohair or alpaca type of yarn i figured this was going to be my chance to just dive into it give it a go see how it turns out but again these colors together might give this like greener shade 
just like a more lighter tonal color. So hopefully this is going to pair really, really nice with it. I do want to work with this hopefully before the year ends sometime in December. So keep your eyes out for either a tutorial or a crochet with me. But again, like I said, I would really like to add some type of textural design to whatever pattern that I'm making. So let me know down below what type of design you guys are looking for. And I realized that I have yet to make a cable type of pattern here on my channel. So maybe I'll give a cable stitch a go with crochet with these two gorgeous hanks of yarn. But let's go ahead and transition over into their Veronita line. Now, I just about gasped when I put my hands on this. I don't know if you guys are able to see, but this is literally like a cloud. It's so lightweight, but again, this is their Veronita line. It's a super fluffy, wispy, lightweight type of fiber. And again, this is also made out of 79% cashmere and 21% silk. So it's kind of labeled as their supreme fluffy cashmere lace. But let's bring you guys in nice and close. It's just so 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 airy and I feel like a fiber like this would look really gorgeous if you wanted to double or triple strand with this but because I only have one hank in each of these colorways I'm gonna have to find a smaller project to make with these or just kind of throw them into like a scrappy maybe sweater project so if you guys haven't picked any of this up at least browse their website give it a check give it a go and they do have a ton of lovely colors in their Veronita line as well. So yeah, that is the little Ching Fiber haul. I also received this one little skein from Darn Good Yarn. This is their Sparkle Worsted Weight Silk Yarn in the shade Phoenix Rising. I believe that this was like their September line or like their September monthly box but it is a crazy super vibrant type of fiber. It is labeled as a worsted weight and I would kind of say this is in between a DK and a worsted so you can kind of get away with a ton of projects with this just because it is bordering on that line but the interesting thing about this sparkle worsted weight yarn is that it does have this really interesting like lurex or metallic type of fiber or strand that is woven throughout the entire donut of yarn. So I'm not too sure what I wanna make because again, I only have this one little hank, but I am a huge fan of Darn Good Yarn as well. So I wanted to give them a little shout out and I do have like a little discount code for Darn Good Yarn. So I'm gonna leave that down below in the description box. I have literally all of my yarn coupons down there if you guys wanna check them out. So yeah, thank you Darn Good Yarn for sending this over as well. Let's go ahead and transition into a bag that I have previously already opened up because I did use some of this yarn from Hobie to make a current project that I am still in the process of finishing up. But this is a massive, massive bag. And I should mention that I purchased this with all of my own money. This video is not sponsored, but again, I just wanted to share all of my latest picks and all of like the new colorways that I've been looking at. So let's go ahead and just dump everything out because it is a huge bag of yarn. So let's go ahead and show you guys some of the cakes that I picked up. Now, my all-time favorite colorway in this line is this, I think it's called Flowery, but anyways, this is the Cookie Cake by Yarbo. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but this is what the cake looks like. Now on their website, these cakes are listed as a number four worsted weight yarn, but after having already created a project with this just a few days ago, I would have to say that this kind of borders between a sport weight and a DK weight yarn. For the majority of the cake, this fiber, I would have to say, is more like a DK weighted yarn, but there are certain sections of this because it is a roving style yarn that do run a little bit thicker, so they are kind of classified as like a worsted weight, and then some sections that do run extremely thin, which in my eyes kind of resemble more of a sport weight yarn, but for the sake of this video, let's just call this a DK weighted yarn. This is some of the most beautiful colors all jam-packed into one cake that I have ever put my eyes on, but I decided to pick out three different colorways or shades in the cookie line. So these are what the colors are looking like. Back to this very first cake, this is in the colorway number 17 on the website. So it kind of ha has like a blend or a mixture of mostly earth-toned shades with like subtle pops 
as you can see as like a bright bright red and deeper within this cake there are like sections of a deeper navy blue so it's kind of like your overall earthy tone green peach cream type of colorway but the interesting thing about the cookie line is that this is actually a 100 pure acrylic fiber and honestly i I've really, really enjoyed working with this so far. Like I said, I'm about to finish up a project, but for this being an acrylic yarn, you guys know acrylics can vary so much in their texture and the feel. And this has to be some of my favorite acrylic yarn I put my hands on. But anyways, like I was saying, this is colorway number 17. This next really gorgeous deeper toned shade here is in colorway number 15. Now this definitely screams like winter time, fall time to me, just because the colors are so deep and dark. But again, I think this would work up into a really lovely sweater. Or even if you guys felt tempted and felt the challenge, you could turn this into a blanket just because it's so, so dark. But again, for an acrylic yarn, this stuff feels like butter. Scale of one to 10, I'd have to say that this is like an eight or a nine on the softness scale. But yeah, here is this next colorway in shade number 15. Really, really gorgeous, like jewel tone shades. But again, there are subtle pops of color in there. So I really, really do like how this color turned out and it's even more gorgeous in person. And interestingly enough, with these massive cakes, you do get about 600 meters for one cake. So it's kind of a steal at the fact that these, I think were priced at 11 or 12 dollars on the website and something else that i wanted to point out is like i said with these 600 meters for one cake i made an entire sweater kind of like an oversized women's small size using only two cakes of this yarn and i still have about half of the cake left over so in theory i only need about a cake and a half to make an entire lightweight sweater, which again is such a steal for the price. I'm always on the hunt for getting like really great deals and trying to get as much yardage as possible. So this has quickly become some of my favorite acrylic yarn. So again, here are those two shades I was talking about. And then last but not least, this cake is in the colorway number 19. Now I had to grab it because as you can see, it's kind of screaming like an aqua mermaid rainbow. What more can I say? Pretty much like an overall blue toned theme with really insane pops of color as well. You've got like a bright mustard yellow, kind of like a, I don't know, like brick red in there, a little bit of pinks. And so, you know, it's essentially like a big rainbow, but kind of blue toned theme at that. So these are the three gorgeous gorgeous cakes that i got my hands on and if you guys couldn't tell i'm already on the hunt to purchase this in more colorways because i do think they have about 10 or 12 different shades on their website so again this is the cookie yarbo and as far as crochet or knitting plans go for the cookie yarbo line i would like to put out more of a beginner friendly kind of like a one row repeat scarf tutorial so if you guys are interested in that please let me know down below what you think i should be using with this yarn but again i have about six cakes of this left over i actually have three cakes in this one colorway so i am thinking of making maybe like a mittens tutorial and even a scarf tutorial but the options are pretty much endless for me let me know what you guys would like to see down below on top of this yarn i also picked up i believe eight skeins or balls of this again this is the hobie highland wool 100 peruvian yarn now on their website i believe that this is labeled as a dk weight yarn but i'm a little bit disappointed just in the fact that this to me does definitely look more like a sport weighted yarn so if my camera can focus this is what the weight of the yarn looks like across my finger it is pretty darn thin so i might have to double strand with this to create a project that i'm looking for but anyways the details on this hobie highland wool are that it's a 100 percent wool type of fiber and i believe that you get about 191 yards for this one skein of yarn so it does kind of make sense that this lends more towards a sport weighted yarn but either way i already have the yarn i'm going to work up with it this is in the shade or the colorway number 18 and it definitely has this like overall sea foam light aqua shading to it but one thing i do want to note is that in person this definitely has more of a heathered 
type of look to it. So it's definitely not a super pungent colorway. As you guys can see, it does kind of look a little bit like feathered or heathered in its color. So I do like it just at that. But the whole reason that I purchased eight skeins of this really comfortably soft wool yarn. I will note, again, for a wool yarn, this is not scruffy or itchy at all. Honestly, it does really remind me of an acrylic yarn. If I didn't see the label, I would think that this is a 100% acrylic yarn. So it does feel really, really nice. But like I was saying, the whole reason why I purchased about eight skeins of this Highland wool is because I have a DIY or a tutorial in mind with all this yarn. And it's actually sitting in this package over here. I haven't opened it yet. So let's just tear it open together on camera. Now the project that I've had in mind is some type of like 90s themed sweater. I would like the basis or the body of like this coat or sweater to be made out of the Highland wool, but I ended up purchasing the Lion Brand Faux Feather yarn. If you guys saw me talking about this a couple of videos ago, they don't have this anywhere in stores, so I definitely took a leap of faith and just purchased it without touching it or seeing it in person. But like I mentioned, this is the Lion Brand Faux Feather line. Now this, as you guys can see, is a very unique type of fiber. There is a general threading that runs throughout the entire hank, but if you guys can see very closely here, there's a ton of this, I think it's like a polyester, faux feather type of fiber that hangs down off of the actual yarn. So I thought it'd be really fun to make a sweater or a coat again, all with this Highland wool, and then make the cuffs and the collar of the sweater out of this faux feather yarn. Now again, it is a lot thinner in person than I was expecting. So I'll definitely have to double or possibly even triple strand with this faux feather yarn to give my collars and the cuffs the thickness and the density that I'm looking for. But just at the fact, just looking at this, it is so gorgeous. It's so, so unique. And thankfully my color choice is spot on. I don't know how I pulled that off without seeing these in person. Now this faux feather yarn feels so delectable. I already want to recommend it to you without even using it yet, but this is in the colorway dark green, and this is actually made out of 100% nylon. So it's going to hold up really, really well in the washer and the dryer. And like I said, this fluff is definitely the type of texture that I was looking for when I had this sweater or coat in mind. So I cannot wait to start crocheting with this. They had a ton of other colors as well, like a darker cherry red, some like deeper violets, lighter shades as well. But you guys know the earthy tone green shades really kind of call my name. So this is what I've picked out. And another interesting thing now that I'm like looking at the label is that this is labeled as a super bulky number five weighted yarn. But as I just showed you guys, this is definitely not a super bulky yarn, even though I know when I start crocheting with it, like this feather yarn is going to take up a little bit more space. I don't think it's going to be any thicker than a DK or even a worsted weighted type of yarn. So that is something to take note of in case you guys are planning on purchasing some of this faux feather yarn is that you probably will need more yarn than you're expecting or just in the sense if you guys are trying to make something like me, something that has a little bit more thickness or density to it, you'll probably want to double or even triple strand with this faux feather yarn. But I do want to start working up with this in like the next week or so. So I will give you guys updates. Go follow me on Instagram if you guys aren't already following me. I'll give you guys all the details, how it's working up, how I'm enjoying the yarn. But again, for a 100% nylon fiber, this stuff, it feels ridiculously luxurious. Let's go ahead and switch over into another package that I already opened off camera. I'm sorry guys, but I had to see what this was. As you guys know, I have been heavily, heavily obsessed lately with the Sari Silk Ribbon type of yarn. So I went over to Etsy and I bought a ton, a ton of new Sari Silk yarn. So let's just go ahead and pull out all of the lovely hanks that I purchased. Now I will note that is one thing that annoys me a little bit with the ribbon type of yarn is that they do come in hanks of yarn and 
they are very difficult to wind up with my yarn winder just because they're so thick. They don't really feed naturally or organically through the little yarn winder. So it does take me a couple hours to wind all these up into cakes before I can use them. But let's just go ahead and show you guys the first colorway that I received. Now in person, these definitely have a little bit more of like a taupey, kind of like a light cream shading to them. But as you guys can see, no two hanks are exactly the same. These are all under the same name or the same colorway, but they do have slightly different shading to them if my camera can even focus. So these are what the latest Sari Silk ribbon yarns are looking like. Now, a little bit different from the previous ribbon that I picked up. This is not quite as thick. I think this is labeled as a chiffon ribbon yarn. So this is what it looks like on the finger. Again, not quite as thick as that really colorful yarn that you guys have seen me use before. But I really wanted to get my hands on this colorway just because to me, again, it's so unique of a color and of a shading. Now, as you guys can see, for the most part, this yarn does have like a sand or like a creamy neutral type of color, but there are sections of this yarn that do have this slight bit of fuzzing or fluffiness to it. And the fluff part has more of like this deeper lilac shading to it. So whatever project I make with this, again, it's gonna look so unique, so, so one of a kind. And I think this is gonna feel a lot better on the skin, a lot more wearable than the stuff that I have shown you previously. Now to go along with all of these colors, I also picked up what has to be some of my favorite yarn that I have ever purchased. Now keep in mind, I did get a ton of questions asked in like the last previous videos, how much yardage I do get with the ribbon yarn. And I will note that I think that these are labeled as 25 or 50 grams, but in total, I only get about 40 to 50 yards per hank of yarn. So this is another really crazy hank that I got my hands on. These just sold out on the seller's Etsy. So these were literally like the last hanks that I could get my hands on. But as you guys can see, it does have this overall tonal shade of like a deep, deep purpley magenta. But what caught my eye are these little lacy pieces that stand out on the yarn and again it's not on every section of the yarn so i think how this is going to work up is for the majority it will have more of this wool or acrylic looking fiber and then little sections will have the lace popping here and there so it definitely doesn't run throughout the entire hank or skein of yarn and on top of that there are like little bits and pearls that kind of dangle off of the hank as well. So I purchased this to kind of go along with this and I feel like the colors are pretty spot on in the sense of meshing and melding really, really well together. The last bit that I had to pick up is so completely different from the other two. Now this hank, I would have to say kind of reminds me of like a torn towel if I'm being honest but again all the yarn right here that I'm showing you from Etsy all of this sari silk ribbon yarn it's all recycled fibers so I am proud at that but again this kind of has like a towel type of texture to it maybe like a teddy bear type of texture but again, for this being a recycled fiber, I'm pleasantly surprised at how comfortably soft this feels on the hands. Now this is what this really unique fiber looks like on the fingers. But again, this is very, very thick. This definitely is classified probably as like a number six, super bulky type of fiber. So I bought all of these yarns probably three or so months ago with the intent of trying to knit with this. Now, just look how all of these textures and fibers meld together. You guys know recently I've been on the kick of just making really insane textural pieces. So I do wanna knit with this, but I think I want to give like a mini dress a go. My ideas are like my plans in my head when I see this yarn is to make some type of like crew neck fitted dress that is pretty bodycon very slimming to the body, but I would like to add maybe like a little slit on the leg. And I did also purchase, I think 25 millimeter knitting needles. So they're very, very thick. And I do want this to look a little bit more lacy, just a little bit sheer, a little bit see-through. 
because I really want all of this to really stand out. So if I can kind of do the math really quickly here in my head, I have eight hanks times 50 yards. It's about 400 yards of fiber all right here. So I will let you guys know if I have enough for my project. Now, because I've been so busy lately behind the scenes, I haven't had a chance to unbox my monthly knit crate boxes. So I figured I'd do that for you guys here on camera. I'm really excited about these. I don't even know what's inside, but something about being subscribed to the knit crate boxes gives me so much like excitement and joy just because you never know what you're getting each month. So let's start to break these open. But as you guys can see, I do have two months worth here. So let's start with the package. Again, I just want to note that this video is not sponsored by Knit Crate. I just am genuinely in love with their service and their products. Now, the yarn that they've sent me, I actually don't have anything like this in my possession right now. See, this is what I mean by each month I am completely surprised by what they send me in the mail. And I don't think I have anything like this. I don't think I've even owned any type of fiber like this before. So let's just go ahead and show you guys. The hanks that they sent me are in Audine Wool's Mellow line. Again, this is by Knit Crate, but they sponsor and they carry a bunch of different brands. Now this is their high and dry colorway. It's 80% alpaca and 20% tensile. I love when tensile is like mixed into my fibers just because it does have a lightweight constitution, a lightweight makeup. And again, having some tensile thrown into your alpaca or your wool yarn does give it a little bit more durability. Now this alpaca feels it kind of reminds me of cashmere but let's just go ahead and show you guys the colorway up close now to me this definitely looks like a more standard type of ply i could be wrong but this looks to be like a two ply spun together this colorway looks extremely unique to itself just because it has an overall tonal shade of like a deep foresty green but when I look really, really close to it, there are a bunch of different shades in here, kind of like creams, browns, tans mixed in. So I'll do my best to get an up close shot here. But this alpaca yarn feels like heaven. And again, for each month that I'm subscribed, I do get two hanks. So this might even be really, really fun to work up with some of the Ching fibers that I got. Maybe I could even mix in some of that Surrey lace into this type of fiber it's so gorgeous but again with an alpaca type of fiber like this the first thing i can think of is to make a sweater or even like a baby blanket with this i think would work up so wonderfully it feels really really great so again this is the audine wools mellow line and yes i do have a really amazing knit crate coupon code for you guys so that's also down below you guys can save like 40 bucks off of your first monthly box so highly highly recommend knit crate let's go ahead and show you guys the next month that came in the box moving on to the next knit crate monthly box this yarn looks actually so crazy now i will admit that i'm not the biggest fan of like self-striping type of yarns especially when it's this drastic but let's just go ahead and pull out hold on wait a minute why i have four hanks of yarn is there a reason why i got four this next line or theme is from their glass future i don't know what month this is my best guess is that this was september but they actually sent me four hanks of yarn which is rather unusual because i typically only get two but i've had this line before so this is the yu yarn oh this is actually their cotton basic i've never had the cotton basic but i am a huge fan of yuru yarn company so this is a really interesting 100 percent organic pima cotton dk weight fiber this is also in the shade reflection so this is what it's looking like but like i mentioned earlier this definitely has a self-striping or like just a striping type of feature to it now i have no idea what to make with this especially because these colors kind of scream spring to me instead of fall but for a cotton yarn well it is a pima cotton i am a huge fan of pima cotton over standard cotton yarns but for a cotton yarn this feels pretty darn smooth it kind of reminds me of like a tensile type of fiber 
but it has a really interesting construction as well. Not too sure how many plies this Yuru yarn is, but I will give some type of cotton maybe sweater or even like a t-shirt. This might look really cute as like a tank top or a t-shirt. So I might have to hold on to these when it starts to get a little bit warmer out, maybe like February or March to make some type of self-striping tank top or t-shirt. But I'll be honest, this is not my favorite colorway, but I am pleasantly surprised at the feel of this Pima cotton. So yeah, this is Yuru Yarn by Knit Crate. That is such a tongue twister. But like I mentioned, I do have coupon codes for Knit Crate down below. So if you guys would like to get your own box at a super discounted price, all of that's gonna be down below in the description. Now, last but not least, I do have a few yarns left over from projects that I just wanted to show you guys and touch on and get your thoughts on it. So I did recently pick up this Lang Cloud Yarn. I've had my eye on Lang Cloud Yarn for a couple months now, and I was really pleasantly surprised when I pulled out this colorway. I'm not too sure what number this is. I think it says colorway 10, 77. Oh, this is 01. So this is shade number 01. But obviously what caught my eye is the fact that this is definitely screaming fall winter shades. You know, it kind of has like an earthy tone, cream, darker browns, but with really gorgeous, vibrant pops of like neon green and even like a deeper forest green. If I'm not mistaken, I think deeper within these hanks or skeins as well is like a baby blue in there. But yeah, anyways, I have about two and a half balls or donuts of this yarn left over from my previous projects. So a part of me does want to head back online and possibly purchase two more of these. That way I can make a super thick sweater. I have seen some downloadable patterns online from Lang Cloud and they have this really interesting sweater that is double stranded with the cloud yarn. So I felt like a really colorful self striping sweater that kind of shifts between two different strands, two different shades would work up so gorgeous and so beautifully. But let's give you guys a little bit more detail on the Lang cloud yarn. This is labeled as a Marina, no, Merino Extra Fine Super Wash Yarn. This is actually 90% virgin wool and 10% nylon. So again, although the wool could be itchy or scratchy, this stuff feels like cashmere again. It feels very luxurious, very, very fluffy. But again, note the halo, note that fluff. You do want to hand wash this and line dry it. But what also caught my eye about this type of fiber is that it has a standard, I think it's a chain net construction deep in there. It's kind of like a net chain net construction with I think like blown fibers across the top of it. So it feels honestly like a cloud. And like I said, I only have two and a half balls left over. So I might make the splurge and make the purchase and get a few more just so that I can actually make a finished project with this yarn. But I'm very pleasantly surprised at how this stuff feels. I will also note that this stuff is pretty costly. I think online it's about $30 for this one donut of yarn. But I do think that you get about like 320, maybe 300 yards per donut. So kind of worth the money if you guys are willing to splurge. But that is pretty much the overall yarn haul that I have going on right now. I love to hear from you guys what you guys would like me to make. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know down below. I have a ton of projects that I need to get started on. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Again, feel free to check out any of my coupon codes down below. Save yourself some pretty money. Buy more yarn with that money. But I'm going to sign off at this moment and spend the rest of the day with my boyfriend and my dog. And, <laughs> and yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in, for watching. I'll be on here pretty soon with another yarn haul because you guys know I can't resist spending money on yarn that I probably shouldn't. But a lot of projects to come. Again, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk soon. Bye.